This is the west coast of South Africa, a place where we are going to be indulging ourselves in a mouth-watering 10-course meal and eating some of the most unique food South Africa has to offer. We are literally driving onto a beach. I don't think my Yaris is made for the beach, but I guess today it is. We're quite curious as to what food they're going to be serving at a 10-course dining experience and if you're anything like us, dessert is a must. But we can't help wonder what type of dessert are they going to be serving at a beach dining experience in South Africa? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go! We've both come prepared this time and we're wearing <laughs> sandals on the beach. It's got such a beachy vibe with like the ropes of a boat and surfboard and even the boats, boats here. on the side. <laughs> Definitely fish beach vibes. Hello and welcome. Hi, how are you? Well, sir, yourself. I'm good, good. What name are you books under? Uh, Daniel. Have you been before? This is the first time. The meal is 10 plates. Don't eat too much too soon. Follow awesome. Thank Daniel. you so much, eh? And this is our table. So this is the view that we have, literally with the ocean right in front of us. This is so lucky. We do have a 10 course meal today, so I'm pretty excited for it. As the guy said earlier on, because there's so much, do not eat too much too early. I'm also wondering what we're going to have for dessert because everything is probably going to be made on the braai, which you're seeing down there. And I don't know a dessert that's made on a braai. Do you? The only thing I can think of is like braai marshmallows, but I don't think they're going to be giving us that. So this restaurant, is it a restaurant? Would you call it a restaurant? Um, I think so. It is. <laughs> it is a restaurant. Yeah, right? it is. Well, it's a unique restaurant because you get to bring your own drinks. And when this is finished, there is a bar here, but I don't think we'll be drinking a whole bottle of wine. So I've gone with a white wine today as that goes nicely with fish because I believe we're going to be eating quite a bit of fish today. I've got myself a beer. Cheers. <laughs> so now that we're here, let me actually show you what this place looks like. It's called Die Strandloper and to my knowledge what Die Strandloper means was well, actually a guy that they called Die Strandloper because he was the negotiator between the British sailors and the Khoisan that were in this area like 200 years ago. So this is where its name comes from. I'll show you right here in front, we actually have the beach and the bar is right behind me. Here we have a beach bar but we could bring our own drinks. And over here is where they cook everything. And then all behind there is actually where everybody sits. And we are sitting down there which is right next to the beach. Ah, you can it. You can see how you can it. What do you want to eat? Aardappels, oh, patat, aardappels. Patat and aardappels, nee. Bij die snoek. Bij die snoek. Oeh, so we're going to lekker snoek vandaag eat. Hey, how do we do that? That's say, lekker, lekker. So he's actually saying that he's busy cooking potatoes over there. So I think that's going to be part of our main meal. So we can see the kitchen here is completely open. I mean, there he's cooking those potatoes. Yeah, he's got a fly. And to my understanding, I think we might get bread that they're going to cook here. And here is bread. I mean, they're literally making their own bread in here. Yo, what do you want to eat? Mussels and knuffel and water. Mussels and knuffel and water. Yo, that looks like a good Is the bread still hot, eh? What type of bread is it? It's normal white bread. Just normal white bread. Yes. But freshly baked. Yes. Oh, it's going to be Always. so good. It's going to be so good. Mussels. Garlic and butter mussels. A few more. Yeah, please. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll say. Thank you so much. That's Enjoy. great. Thank you. <laughs> Got my mussels. How amazing does this look? Oh, it smells delicious as well. Oh, this looks so good. So our very first meal is baked bread, which is a white bread with butter on top. We could have chosen jam, but we decided, no, we don't really want jam with our mussels. And this bread is freshly cooked as it's still so soft and still warm. And the outside is super crunchy. You know, homemade bread is always the best. So let's go, cheers to our first meal. Are you well, just they, eating the butter? No, <laughs> they've given us an oyster shawl, which they said was our knife and fork which we have to use in order to spread the butter on our bread. Is that what you use it <laughs> That's for? That's what you use it for. That's very unique. I've never been given an oyster shell as an half and fork. Are you ready to taste this? Cheers. Cheers. I've got it on my bread. Mm. 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 Those are fresh. The flavor inside these mussels, definitely getting the garlic inside there, but mm. it's not overly done. 
so it is giving you this pure seafood taste with not overpowering flavors it is mm. super yummy the way seafood should taste i'm so excited for my next meal already <laughs> oh check there goes a bird luckily we have a netting on top of us <laughs> Otherwise they'd be diving for our food. <laughs> so we're now going to go and get our second meal of the day, which is apparently fish. Thank what you. fish is this? It's a grilled harder, the mullet. The hard one. Yeah. This one looks good. On Thank you. <laughs> oh, check the amount of seagulls here. Be careful your fish. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fight them. <laughs> so what we're doing is once we've got the fish, we actually bring it to people in order for them to take the bones out. Hi, how are you, Nalene? Good and you. Thank you. So you're taking the bones out? Yes, only the middle bone. Only the middle bone. Yes, yes some small bones. So small bones. Oh, awesome. Thank, Thank you, Nalene. On the plate Thank you. Can you take my bone out? Already. <laughs> Check this. We literally have seagulls everywhere. Oh my gosh, they're going to steal my food. Look at this. <laughs> I'm like holding my food against my body because I have to hold the camera. Never thought you'd have to fight for your food in a restaurant. <laughs> so over here we've got a harder, which is a fish. They've taken the main bones out, but they do have the fine little bones inside here that I have to watch out for. But let's give this a taste. Mmm, that is quite nice. Definitely tasting my salt and my lemon. But that's actually quite a yummy fish. And you can definitely taste that it's been put on the brow. One thing I'm really enjoying about this experience so far is that you are tasting fish that you don't generally get in a restaurant. Because mm -hmm. when you order fish in a restaurant, it's generally like king clip or hake. But this time we're going to be tasting fish that I don't think I've ever tasted before. Mm. The salt of this fish is already making me excited for the dessert and I'm wondering what it is. I doubt it's going to be a salty dessert, it's going to have to be sweet. But made on a braai? Hmm. Still wondering. I'm going to give you a warm welcome now. <laughs> welcome to Lamavon. Let's see your smile. Come on and have some fun. This is number one. Blue Bird is number one. <laughs> Such a catchy song. That's a catchy song, eh? We were totally not expecting a guy to come sit down here and play a song for us right on his guitar. And his own unique song. It was, it was a catchy was one, really eh? <laughs> so cool. So the next fish that they were putting on the bra is the snook. You can see this fish is a lot longer than the previous one that we just ate. Berlin, what do you want to do? We make roaster brookies. Yeah, roaster brookies. And it's all made with all the Thais. No, it's not made with all the Thais. It's made with all the Thais. Oh, wow. It's made with all the Thais. But the snook comes now from Saldana. Oh, from Saldana. Okay, but the hard ones are not here. Yeah, it's made with all the Thais. Wow, okay, awesome. They don't really let us know when the next meal is up, so you kind of always have to look just to see if there's a lot of people coming up to the tables. But you generally hear the commotion and that's when you know the next meal's here. Good. Thank you, sweetheart. Pleasure. There's your, your spoon. This has been a dish I've been excited for all day. Oh, yummy. Thank you. That smells delicious. Thank you very much. Step forward. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. So this fish curry has some angelfish and snook in it as well as some potatoes and beans and carrots. Mm. I can definitely taste the curry flavors. The fish is super soft and yummy but this is a good curry. You know a curry is good when it looks like this. The color is perfect, the mixture is perfect, the sauce is perfect, the taste is perfect. Mm. I think this is the first time I'm ever having a fish curry and it's probably not going to be the last. On the fish curry, you are then officially course number four. Course number four. Honey, you have a lovely, lovely break now. The only one I'm kind enough to give you. Enjoy it. Six more courses oh to go. Wow. Six more courses Six to more. go. Yet. Oh my gosh, I'm already so full from all the oh food really? you've been eating. Oh no, I could eat so much more. This that, is just so tasty. Oh, that means we got so much more fish to taste, plus that dessert. Mm. What dessert is on a braai? I could only think of marshmallows. What else goes on a braai? No, but they won't have marshmallows with dishes like this. I'm actually very, very curious. I'm so excited. I am so, so excited. I'm very surprised with this food. It is absolutely delicious. So compliments to the chefs over here. But I'm just loving this experience. It feels like you're really on the beach because you've got your feet in the sand and you can feel like the ocean breeze and listen to the waves and just sit here and enjoy your Sunday. So we've come to the beach in order to have our little three minute break before we are getting our fit. 
main course. I don't know how we're going to do that. I don't even know if a break is a good idea because when you stop eating, then you get more full. Yeah. So they told us that the harder fish that they get, they actually fish straight here from the sea, right by the restaurant, and that the snook they actually get from Saldana. So that is right over there. That's where Saldana is. So we are now on to our fifth course, which we have the roasted cook, which we saw them busy making earlier, as well as snook. Oh, check, it's already just like falling apart there. Oh. I'm not going to try the sweet potato because I think we all know what sweet potato tastes like. Oh, that is salty, delicious, and good. How good is that? That is so good, you can taste that it actually came off the brine. You can see it's a homemade bread as it's actually quite thick. So it's not like empty like normal bread you'll buy in the shop. It's a very full, full, full bread. But wow, I can think the fish with this inside, that is going to be good. I'm going to try the roaster cook with the fish and a little bit of apricot jam that they've given us. Mm, that is so yummy. The saltiness from the fish and the sweetness from the jam is amazing. Wow. If you have not tried something like that, I highly suggest you do. Because, wow. <laughs> I want to go back for more, but there's still five courses remaining. So i got to take a chill. So our next meal is beef stew. We've got a run portion for the both of us because we're starting to get really full. Oh, I think it's a good choice of variety. We've got some beans. We've got some potato. And we've got some beef. So, so good. At this point, everything's starting to taste salty. So it does have quite a bit of salt, but they are using natural flavors in all these dishes and not adding a lot of spices, but it is nice. I'm enjoying the different variety of beef. We have now eaten six main courses and we have four left or three left until we get to dessert. Still wondering what the dessert is gonna be. I've been actually walking around trying to figure out what they're busy cooking, but still can't see. Which one's which one? Uh, the big debate. Smoked angel fish, bright hot and tot. So the bright hot and tot and smoked angel fish. I don't know, but this angel fish looks absolutely delicious. Almost looks like a tuna. And that's a hot and tot, which is actually a lion fish. Are we sharing this or am I getting my own? I think we should share. I think so too. I'm getting so full. Oh man. I... Did you <laughs> throw away our cutlery again? <laughs> this is the second time. Leanne keeps throwing our cutlery away. We keep having to go back for our shells. Okay, I got more cutlery. Did you get more? Thank you. Don't throw these away now. I get confused. This is not the food. This is cutlery. Okay, you taste the angel, let me taste the lion. I have never tasted angel fish before. I don't think I've tasted lion fish before. And it's also called a hot and tots fish in South Africa, apparently. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That is a tasty fish. Mine has a very smoky flavor. Mm. Mm. It's smoked angel fish that they've given you. Mm. This lionfish is actually not salty. It's got a much better flavor to it. So I actually like it compared to the other ones. But mm, this bride part here that they put on the fire and has become a little bit crispy is amazing. And you know what's next? Dessert. Dessert. We're finally going to figure out what dessert is. Thank you very much. Enjoy. And this is our ninth one. And we have nice entertainment here with us. So we actually thought the lionfish and the angelfish was the last of the fish before dessert. But in fact it's not. We miscalculated the courses. And we've actually got a crayfish over here. There's so much flavor in this crayfish. And the meat that we're tasting today is just so tender and soft. It's absolutely delicious. You don't know these songs? We need a culture, Leanne. Leanne finally knows the song. <laughs> so I'm holding dessert. And what is it? Just to give you a hint, uh -huh. it is not bright. It's not bright? Yeah, it's probably our uh, dish that is not bright. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? What is it? Do you want to take a guess? If it's not bright, a cake of some sort. No. No? no. Okay, show me. I don't know. I don't know. It's a traditional cook's <gasps> instead. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Look at that goodness right over there. So this you actually get in South Africa. It's basically fried dough infused with syrup or honey. Ooh, and it looks like yummy. this and it is freaking delicious. delicious. Hey. Mm. <laughs> so good. Goodbye, baby. I love you. <laughs> 
Now I like cook sister, but I can only have a small bit of it because it is so so sweet. So mm, this is my one cook sister and I'm gonna sweeten out after this. And but the we rest hope, are yours. But we really hope you enjoy this video. I'm so glad that this is the dessert. This is an amazing experience and if you ever do come to South Africa, this is something you need to need to need to do. But follow us on our adventures, please subscribe, give a like to this video and we'll see you in the next one.